Hello, in this tutorial I will teach you how to install Redux library to a React project because I was searching for a tutorial like that yesterday for about 5 hours and I have not found one to list in steps what uh, is, is it to be done in order to achieve this. So what we want is to have the Redux library which is a store manager integrated in React and to do this if possible under 10 minutes. Okay, so basically we want a global state. We want to have a state which can be accessed from multiple places, multiple components in our project. And to do that, we will install the Redux library as such. Number one, we install the dependencies. We have the Redux and React Redux. Those two libraries need to be installed in order to add React to your project. I have already done that, so I will not do it again, but you'll have to do it with yarn or npm install. Okay, then after you've done that, we create a folder called store inside of the src folder. Inside of this, we create a file called store.js. You can name it as you want. And then here I will import create store from Redux. Step number two, initial state. I want an initial state, an initial global state, which will have the user, which is undefined initially. This is what I'm going to change later. And let's say I have another property is model. I will not use it, but it's important to, for you to see that this is a state that can be extended. Then we have a function, which usually you will find it under the name of reducer, but for me, this name does not work. So I'll name it handle state. Uh, for me, it makes more sense to have this name. And this handle state has a switch um, inside as such. Okay? And default, of course. So this handle state has two arguments. And the first one is state. And second, the action. I will explain, uh, explain uh, right away what those two are. First of all, the state is the state as, uh, of the app and at the uh, T0, at the initial loading of the uh, library, uh, of the file actually, I want to be equal to initial state, right? So I just want to pass this in this. And then here this action is an object and this object will come as a will be passed later from some uh, uh, actions triggered from the project itself, from the React. So later on in the project, I will click a button and I will have under this action, which is the JavaScript object, type, okay? And then we'll have anything else. In my case, it will be user, okay? So having this type, which is a string, it is always a string, and this is a convention. You can name it a differently, but the convention says that you should have this type. I can then say action type, and depending on the name of the string, I can create cases. In my situation, in my example, I want to update the username. Okay, not to forget return state. If no action is recognized, I just want to return the state. Okay, in this case, I just want to return the all state, so I'm going to do this structuring, and then user action dot user. Okay, I can even go further and say type and user, but I am not going to do that because in other times you might call this differently, right? So it's absolutely fine to have action type and user. Later we might have action data or whatever. Okay, this is done. Um, const store equals create store, and we pass this function that we just created as an argument. And of, co of course, we're going to export this default store. Okay, so install the library, create the store file. Then we open the index.js file, which is under SRC, and we import provider provider from React Redux. 
also we import the state the store sorry from store store okay and all we have to do is to wrap our app inside of this provider and add the attribute store equal to store okay so far so good uh, step number three we open the app.js file which uh, as you can see is this page is basically you know the scaffolding of the simple react project and um, in here I want to expose this uh, store to be globally so any um, child of this to have access to the store okay in order to do that I have to import a library called connect which I'm gonna use it in here which is a function which takes another function and in this function all you have to do is say store return store it's basically map state to props you're gonna see it in another example const map state to props blah 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 but I don't like too much this um, way, way of declaring so to keep it short I just gonna add this in here because once you add it then you don't have to come back this is how the things are you know okay this is done and now I just want to show the uh, user in here so to do that I will say const user equals use selector which is a hook from react redux and in here uh, I have the the state itself I'm gonna say state that user okay to prove that is working I will say here not defined instead of undefined defined okay and I'm gonna go to the app and inside of the header I'm gonna add the span and say here user if we go now back to the page you can see that it's not defined okay I'm gonna create two components new directory components and the first one is uh, user one dot jsx which is a functional component equals function which returns a div sorry a div with a button set user and a span okay which has the span one and here user okay also I'm gonna say const user equals like I've done here in the app uh, use selector and then state state that user okay job done everything is here one more thing one click I just want to uh, change actually I'm gonna say set user okay and this will be a function set user which will trigger this function and here I'm gonna say const action for you to see in clear that is the same one from here and I'm gonna say type set user user my name okay and to trigger this function we have already uh, a hook called use dispatch and I'm gonna just call it like that const dispatch equals use dispatch and here I'm gonna say dispatch action you see it's pretty simple actually you just have a function which based on the uh, argument type will filter and then I'm gonna change the state this is all, all it does it's just changing the state but this is very effective in large project because you can group them by file will have like authentication JS it's a section of your pro project and then post and then on and on right so you have an in intelligent and uh, uh, easy to maintain state update okay cool we have this everything is in place we want to create now a second file called user2 to show you that it's gonna update also so everywhere everywhere will be updated not to forget to add here app okay 
user 2 will not have this button of course uh, uh, actually I can I can keep the button say new user and instead of this new user okay and that will be the user 2 and I think I have to change also in here right so let's see how this looks like app not defined uh, I'm going to actually say user not defined and of course I'm going to import the in app I'm going to import the two uh, components and I will say user one and user two and those need to be imported and this one too okay we save we have a look so we have set user not defined one two and up when I'm going to click set user all they will get the Christian name and then when I click a new user I get the new user so you see how easy it is to maintain a single state for all steps being um, add the redux react redux library to create the store file which will have the import create store initial state the handle state function and uh, creating the store and exporting step number three you go to index.js and wrap up the app tag into provider which is from react redux and adding the store as an attribute and step four start using and consuming your state yeah using the use selector and to change the state you just go and say dispatch using the use dispatch hook again the, the, you can then call the dispatch and action being the object that I was just mentioning at the beginning I hope this is useful to you uh, let me know if you have any comments maybe I missed something so I can then add that to the clip all right 